what is up guys Jeremy here and welcome back to another video so I'm gonna show you guys how to get PSP on your iPad now this will be the jailbreak method um, I did demonstrate how to do the non jailbreak method so if you do not have a jailbreak I showed how to do it on my iPhone and it's the same process on the iPad for no jailbreak like I said I'm showing you the jailbreak method it's a little bit more technical than the non jailbreak method uh, but it's still, it's not that bad once you figure it out. Now, with the non-jailbroken method, it's really easy to move the files around, like I showed you guys in that video. Uh, basically, you can just move um, the games to the created PSP folder um, in your files. But it's a little different on the iPad, like I said. Uh, and this does work with PSP games. It lets you use... Bluetooth enabled controllers that are supported on the iPad like the Xbox controller or the PlayStation controller. I must say it's pretty sweet to play PSP games on your iPad with a PlayStation controller. Um, and another cool controller I like to use is the GameSir G4. I did a review on this. I'll leave the video link in the description. This one is really fun to play games with as well. Uh, but we're going to kick this off. We're going to go into Chrome. And I will leave the website link for this down in the description. It's just pppspp.org. Uh, this is where you can get the PSP emulator. Uh, so all you gotta do is swipe down until you see iOS. And as you can see, there is a .ipa and a .deb. Um, the I IPA can be used on a non-jailbroken um, iOS device with alt store. Um, and then the deb can be used on a jailbroken device. And I like to install the deb with the Zebra um, installer, not Cydia. I like to use Zebra and I find that this method works really, really well with Zebra. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just click on the deb. It's actually going to take us to both of the downloads and I'm going to click on the deb file. And then we're going to click download in the lower right there. You can see it is downloading. Now we're going to click open in and I'm going to open it in Zebra. As you can see, the icon is different. I do have a theme enabled, but this is Zebra. As you can see, it launches Zebra. Here is the uh, PPSSPP dev latest. We'll click on install. And then we have it queued up. So we'll confirm the installation of the dev file of PPSSPP. And we can click done. Now when we exit out of Zebra, you guys will see there is the application. We can go ahead and launch it here. And this will let you play PSP games on your device. As you can see, I've actually already loaded a game up in there, but I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. That, that's the kind of technical part um, of this um, is installing the games is what, you, what I found. So uh, if we go into Chrome here, um, I recommend checking out ROMs Mania. They have a bunch of uh, PSP. They're actually .ISOs. They're not technically ROMs, but you can get your ISOs here um, and you can download them and um, they will go into your downloads. Now, I've already done this. They're massive games, so they take a while to download. So I'm gonna go to my iCloud Drive, go to my downloads, and as you can see, here are a few of the games uh, for PSP. Now for this, uh, this one, I'm gonna demonstrate on how to get Gran Turismo. So this, I've already downloaded it. It's in my downloads. And uh, what we can do here is click and hold on the .iso, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share. Now, another application you will need in order to do this is the Filesa application from Cydia. So make sure you install Filesa from Cydia, and then we can do save to Filesa. Now this part will take some time. As you can see, this game is 1.1 gigabytes uh, worth of data. So it does take a little bit of time uh, for your iPad to process and to move that. So I'll be back as soon as it's done. Okay, now just before it finishes downloading, I just want to mention if you guys are curious about any of the tweaks that you see on my jailbroken iPad, uh, I did do a best tweaks video on it uh, just recently and there's a ton of awesome tweaks. Uh, I'll leave the video link for that in the description. But as you can see, there we are done um, sharing to Filesa. So I'm just going to save it to the documents in Filesa. So we'll just click save. Again, this, this part will take a couple of seconds just because it is a a pretty massive download. I probably should have did like Final Fantasy or something that's much smaller than Gran Turismo, but still though, being able to say I have Gran Turismo on my iPad is freaking sweet. 
Okay, so it saved to Files though. So now we can exit out of Files and we can go into Files though. Now by default, it opens us into our documents, okay? So from here, what you wanna do is click Edit in the upper right, click on the .iso, and we're gonna move this file. We don't want to copy it. Now I'm gonna show you how to navigate to the PSP or PPSSPP folder that you need to save it in. I will also put the directory in the description and it'll tell you each folder you need to go into to get to the correct uh, directory. So we're gonna back all the way up. Okay, so we backed all the way up and now we're gonna go down to var and then we're gonna go to mobile. And now we're gonna go into the containers folder. And then now we're gonna go into data. And now we're gonna go into application. And this will list, I believe, all of the applications on your device. So just swipe all the way down until you get to the P's where PPSSPP is gonna be. So there you go, as you can see there is PPSSP and it looks like I have a a conflict because I tried this out beforehand and now I'm doing a second one to show you guys how to do it. So I'm just gonna go into this first one here and I'm gonna go into the documents into the PSP folder. So this looks like the correct one. As you guys seen, that is the directory you need to go through. So PPSSPP, documents, PSP. And then you just paste the game in here. So we'll click the paste button just like that. And now we have pasted Gran Turismo into the PSP folder within PPSSPP. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kill PPSSPP from multitasking just to make sure it updates for me. And now we can go ahead and launch it. And you guys will see that I now have Gran Turismo in there as well. Now before I run the game and show you guys that it does work, I'm gonna show you a couple of settings that will um, make PPSSPP run a little bit smoother for you. So for frame skipping on the iPad, I like to set that to one. And then down here for the rendering resolution, I love to bump that all the way up to 10X to make it as, um, as good of graphics as I can. Uh, keep in mind the higher graphics will take a harder toll on your battery. So if you don't want it to kill your battery as bad, just turn down the graphics or the rendering resolution. Now, another thing to um, keep note on is in the tools section here under developer tools if for whatever reason the games don't work try to say uh, to change the the CPU core to interpreter instead of IR interpreter um, I've noticed that interpreter works well but I don't have any issues with it so I don't change it but if you do try one of the other cores I would start with the interpreter core as you guys can see I'm just going to select on it We'll click on back and back and that should be it. So now we can go ahead and actually launch Gran Turismo on the iPad. And I'll show you guys that the, I do have my Xbox controller connected. As you can see, it does move the thumbstick. Obviously you guys could play this without a controller as it has on-screen controls. That's another thing I wanted to show you guys what I like to do. So if we go to the menu, go to settings, go to controls, and then we go to uh, the button's opacity. I like to turn this way down to like like 10% just because I am using a controller so I don't really need it to be there unless you know I have to but I can just barely see them at 10% and that way I can play with the controller and it's not you know covering elements of the screen and whatnot but we'll let Gran Turismo load up here as you can see the graphics look pretty phenomenal uh, on the iPad it's uh it's pretty crazy Okay, I got the game loaded up here and we're going to go ahead and race. As you can see, the controller works just fine. I wonder if I can use, nope, that's break, that's start. There we go, that's how you change the view, there we go. That's the one we want. And I think the graphics look pretty dang good on the iPad, considering this is meant to be on a P, uh, PSP and we're playing it on iOS. 
Uh, also, like I was mentioning, um, this, this same process and the same method can be translated to the iPhone. So for those of you that watched my tutorial and I showed how to do the non jailbreak method, uh, just remember that just because I showed you on this iPad doesn't mean it's only for iPad. You can do the same exact process on the iPhone and you can also use controllers um, like in the PSP tutorial, I showed uh, the Backbone 1, which is super fun to play with on iPhone. So uh, everything that I showed you today can be done directly on the iPhone as well. So keep that in mind. But uh, there you go. As you can see, this is how you're going to play uh, PSP on the iPad. I think it's super cool. I'll leave a bunch of links down in the description for you guys. Uh, if you want to try this on your own iPad, hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.